We continue our reading of Lest We Forget, a daily devotional by author George R. Knight. Our reading today, January 26, The Scattering Time, Part 1. The hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered. John 16, 32. Josiah Litch used words full of biblical meaning when he wrote two days after the October disappointment that it is a dark day here. The sheep are scattered and the Lord has not come. Profound spiritual disappointments have always tended toward disillusionment and the scattering of believers. So it was with the Millerite Adventists in late 1844 and early 1845. To put it mildly, they were disoriented and confused as they sought to find meaning in their recent experience. The height of their hope had led to the depth of their despair. It is impossible to get a complete, accurate picture of the disappointed Millerites, but it is probable that the majority abandoned their Advent faith and either went back to their previous churches or drifted into secular unbelief. We can view those who maintain their hope in the soon return of Christ as belonging to one of three general groups. The big question that faced all of them was, what, if anything, had happened on October 22 at the close of the 2,300 days of Daniel 8.14. The first identifiable group to arise in the wake of the disappointment was the spiritualizers. The sector of Adventism claimed that the movement had been correct on both the date and the event. That is, Christ had come on October 22, but it had been a spiritual entrance into their hearts rather than a visible, visual return in the clouds of heaven. With that interpretation, they took a major step away from Miller's understanding of the Bible. They began to spiritualize its meaning even in places where it was obviously speaking of literal events. And with that, they opened themselves to all sorts of deception. Fanaticism easily arose among the spiritualizers. Some claimed that since they were in the kingdom, they were of necessity sinless and beyond sin. Among that group, some took spiritual husbands and wives with some very unspiritual results. Others held that since they were in the seventh millennium, it was wrong to work. And still others following the biblical injunction that members of the kingdom would be as little children, discarded forks and knives, ate with their hands, and crawled around on their hands and knees. Needless to say, outbreaks of charismatic enthusiasm swept through the ranks. There is an important lesson for us here. We need to be careful and intelligent in our reading of God's Word. To spiritualize away the plain meaning of Scripture is to open ourselves to spiritual disaster. This concludes our reading today of Lest We Forget.